morning friends. We're just getting ready to gear up and head out for a day ride. It'll be the first ride of this season. Uh, mileage on the bike so far this year has been pretty dismal due to the cool wet weather that we've had here in central Alberta. <clears throat> so today we're heading out. Uh, our goal actually is to head west to the mountains and uh, we're hoping to get some uh, nice photographs of the mountains, a nice clear day and uh, hopefully if the winds stay down we can put the drone up and get some uh, some aerial photos. So time to get geared up, get out of here, stay tuned, we'll be video videoing along the way as we're riding and uh, let's see what happens. Well, we've just made a run out from Edmonton and about uh, 225 kilometers of flat, boring uh, road, straight, a few ups and downs. But now we're in the, uh, the town of Rocky Mountain House and we're getting ready to head a little bit farther west into the mountains. You could actually see the mountains as we were coming into Rocky Mountain House, so we may have to ride another 45 minutes or an hour to the west to actually get into the country where we can get some good photos of the mountains. So we're going to uh, we're going to head out and uh, we'll see what we can uh, see what we can find. We got kind of mixed weather conditions, a little cloudy. It's certainly cooler here than in the city. Busy little place here. Oh, a couple other riders. They'd have some company for part of the ride. somewhere around Nordic. I don't think we'll have to go as far as Klein River. Um, I hope we won't have to go as far as Klein River because of course we're turning around and coming back out this way. We've got the photos that we want. We've ridden about 75 kilometers west of Rocky Mountain House. We're getting some mountains around us now. But really the peaks that I'm after, I think look, look good in photographs. The ones dead ahead of us. The snow and the sun shining on them. Look at this, Klein River Reservoir, pretty low, snow on the peaks but on the other hand doesn't look like there's an awful lot of snow up there either. It will be interesting to see the kind of runoff they get this year and how much this reservoir fills up. You can see it's uh, still got snow on the far side where the sun doesn't get to it. Right down this low, it's very early summer here. Very early summer. Really take a chance. 
driving through the mountains at this time of year, especially on a bike. Weather can change so quick. Well, it's turned out to be a beautiful afternoon out here on the edge of the reservoir. Put the drone up, got some, I, I think will be spectacular photographs. The only uh, disconcerting thing that happened, and I made a point of checking for restricted airspace when I came out here, and this area is unrestricted open airspace. And yet there was a, looked like a military cargo plane came right up the reservoir from the east, headed west and through the pass and into the mountains. And I would hazard to say he was no more than three or four hundred feet above the water. My understanding is those guys aren't supposed to be below a thousand feet. That's why I'm restricted to flying no higher than 300 feet in open airspace. If I had not had some troubles getting my drone to configure a firmware update that it decided it needed to do this instant on the side of the road, my drone would have been out over that water at about the height that that plane was when it came through that is really a troubling thought and uh, you know if something had happened um, where they would have had reported the drone or they had to hit the drone or whatever it would automatically be my fault yet I'm the one that's within all the rules uh, food for thought stuff like that really uh, really really bothers me uh, you know it's not like the rules are a little one-sided I, I don't dare break the rules and yet that plane was clearly breaking the rules so anyways I guess when you're in the right uh, doesn't necessarily mean you're in the right so we're out of here now we've got our photos and uh, we're going to start the drive back to back to Edmonton. Do a shoulder check here, make sure we got nobody coming. Looks good. And we're away. Well, here we are. We made it back into the south side of the city. Battery level is low. Well, we made it back into the city with no issues. That was a great ride. 700 kilometers. Thanks for coming along with us. And stay tuned in the third week of June we're off for another three days into the interior of British Columbia we'll be riding some of the best roads in Western Canada and the first 10 days of July we are gone on basically a ride about we go wherever we feel like going when we feel like going we're camping along the way no set itinerary we'll be through the BC interior and on to Vancouver Island so stay tuned for that one thanks for watching and follow us on the next one.